You know those cool sounding blues turnarounds that you hear great players use? Kind of like this one? Or maybe one like this. Well, they're not that difficult to create, and you can do it on your own and add it to your blues playing really quickly. As long as you know some triads and some seventh chords, you can pretty much put them anywhere on the guitar. So in this video, I thought I'd show you two ways that you can add blues turnarounds to your own playing, whether it's playing with a band or by yourself. So I'll tab out a few examples and put them in the links below. That's totally free to you guys. But I'm also going to put a link that gets you 50% off my course, Blues Guitar By Yourself. Shows you a lot of this turnaround stuff, and there's a bunch of other blues progressions that combine chords, licks, and riffs that you can play with a band, or more importantly, at home, by yourself, just with your guitar. All right, let's jump into the lesson. So let's take a look at the examples I played right in the beginning of the video. And the first one we're going to talk about is really easy and it's my favorite because we're just going to move a chord chromatically. And if you take an E7 chord, for instance, like we're playing an E blues, now you can't just move that chord chromatically because it just doesn't work with that root moving. But if we remove the root, that gives us the fifth, the flat seven, and the third of the chord. And if I play those notes together, and then move down a half step, and then move down a half step, and you can see we're just a half step away from rounding out that E triad. That's all we gotta do. And that's gonna work anywhere that you have a dominant seven chord without the root. We could do it here. You could do it here. Okay? Now, if you want to kind of tidy it up in the 12 bar, you'll maybe do something like I did in the example where I went. Because you know that's happening over the turnaround in the blues. But that's all you got to think of, and that's how you can practice it. Just take that E7 chord, ditch the root, walk it down chromatically, three half steps and then end on an E triad. Now what you can do with that is what I like to do is sometimes maybe do a hybrid picking sort of a move where I'll put my pick on the fourth string and take my middle and ring finger or annular as the purists will call it on my picking hand, play those three notes or maybe I kind of arpeggiate it. really really easy and there's one other way that we can do this too and it's just as easy and fun but it's a little bit of a head scratcher because you have to move your fingers around so let's check that out now remember all of these that you're going to do are basically headed towards a triad so whatever we play our landing spot is always a triad of some variety okay now let's take that and build off of a triad so let's take a little e triad here on the ninth fret and we're just going to play a B, an E, and a G sharp. So I want to attack it with hybrid picking just for the sake of hearing all the notes at the same time. Now when we want to make this a turnaround, or turn this into a turnaround, we move all of the notes except for the root. So the root has to stay the same, and we move the other notes. Now that means we're going to have to change fingerings a little bit, and each one over the guitar will present a new set of fingerings and maybe a couple issues if you've never tried them. But if we do that, our root is on the third string, the G string on the ninth fret. So now I gotta move these two notes. Well, how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna keep that note stationary, and I'm gonna play the fourth and second strings on the fret below at eighth fret, and that'll give me my next move. To do it again, you guessed it, I gotta keep that third finger down on the third string but really fun and then end on any triad you want back to there maybe or maybe there and that works in a lot of different places as well another cool thing to do is maybe take that shape right there which is like your nice inversion 
Now, if that's the case, the E again is on the same spot, but these two fingers are going to have to move those two strings as well, fifth and fourth. Then what I like to do is play something like that. Man, it sounds really cool. So you have a lot of different options. Up. Or you could do this. Or this one. And you could really, really drag them out. Okay, so not too tough. If you get your concept together if you understand how it looks on the guitar so you can move any dominant seven chord chromatically that's the first one we may have to e7 take the root away play those three notes and you got it here's an e7 here take the root away and on an e chord of your choice you could do it here here's a little three note seventh chord So tons and tons of options if you can find them. So I'll give you a handful in those tabs, like I said, so that you can start to play around and see what we're coming from. But do it in any key, you can do it in A, you know, anywhere you want. Really, really fun. Get that kind of stuff happening. And you may have done that before, but you might not have known, oh wow, that's where it can come from. So lots and lots of good stuff here, and I think you're going to have a good time just sort of going on a little bit of a safari for turnarounds on your guitar. So there you go. Limitless opportunities with turnarounds using triads and dominant seven chords. I hope you dug that. If you did, drop a like on the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel. I'd sure appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the links to grab the tab that's totally free, and you can grab the link for 50% off my course, Blues Guitar By Yourself. Really fun course, teaches a lot of this stuff and more. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.